in this portion we will talk about the save views where you can come in here and save a certain view that you may commonly zoom into and so forth so you don't have to zoom in zoom out you can just click on that view and it'll bring you right to that view that you have saved this works really good on a 3d drawing or on a large strip map it has a whole entire job maybe it's a long you know 10 mile job and you have a bunch of crossroads and so forth where you want to zoom into that crossroad whenever you're doing your design or whatever you can save those views to where you don't have to zoom in zoom out you can just click on that view and then bring you right to that intersection or side road or entrance or whatever view that you have saved to get to there we need to go to the utilities pull down and go to the saved views now there's some options underneath here that you can look at but the one that we're going to do right now is this one that says create save view but before we do that let's go ahead and zoom into this area right here maybe this road now all we need to do is create the save view we'll click on this little icon right here it's going to give you a few different methods you got from view or from two points however you want to create the particular view we have it set the way we want it in our view so we're just going to leave it set to from view um, view type save views section view elevation whatever we're just going to leave it set to save view give it a name um, We'll just name this one green entrance. You can put a description in there if you want. These other options right here we're not going to worry about, so we'll just leave those unchecked. And all you have to do is come out here, left click to save that view out on the blank screen somewhere. And now you'll see that this particular view has been saved, the green entrance. So if I come in here, Maybe I do a zoom all or fit view. And I'll come in here and I'll do another one, create save view. And I'll change this one from two points. Okay. And I'll just name this one. Um, I'll just name this one entrance number. Or actually, we'll name this one the the pond or lake. Move this out of the way. Down below here, it's going to say place first point to select an area. So I'll left click once, I'll left click again, kind of window around that area. And now you'll see that this lake saved view is out there now. And you can make as many saved views as you, as you want. So now if I come in here, and I'll close this down, and I have my saved, saved views opened up, I can come in here and double left click on this green entrance you know say save view apply whatever or apply to open views so forth all you have to do is just left click on the screen somewhere and it'll bring you to that save view or same thing with the lake we'll come in here double left click on it it's going to say apply the view all you have to do is left click to apply it you know, bring you to that view. So that's where you can come in here and save many views to easily zoom in and zoom out on a particular project, like on a large project. Another thing that you can do also, we'll do a fit view, is down below here in your view commands, actually in your view attributes, you have the view setup. And this is where you can come in here and actually apply your view, your view also. So if you come in here and you can do lake, you can do green entrance and so forth you can get it there also without active actively coming up here and going to the utilities pull down save views and open up the view there are some other options through here you can update your save view settings um, a lot of these I'm not really going to talk about or go over but we'll just kind of mention them here real quick um, apply save view which if you click on it you can actually apply that save view it's kind of the same thing as double left clicking on it um, edit save view properties where you can change those properties of it you can delete it if you want to you can actually import save views from somewhere else 
So if you had maybe a drawing out there, your master drawing that had 20 saved views and you want to apply all those views to another file that you have out there, you could do that. This one here, um, um, I don't really know too much about this one right here. I didn't really haven't really messed with it, but it is there. That's how you can create a save view to make it easier on you to get to a certain area inside your DGN file.